Hey everyone, I'm here to show you a device from Neptronic. This is their CMMB. It's their BACnet remote I.O. board. It has 10 inputs and 10 outputs. There are eight universal inputs, two digital inputs, two universal outputs, two analog outputs, and six digital outputs. This is a DINMORAIL mountable device that speaks BACnet MSTP. You can also mount it directly to your backplate with the uh, screw holes here. After over 10 years in the field, I've been on a lot of projects where either the correct number of points was not properly estimated or the scope of work changed during that time and we found out we needed a little bit more I.O. So this device, um, with its outputs, it actually has a handoff auto switch for each one of the digital outputs. And something I've never seen before is it actually has uh, overrides for the universal outputs and the analog outputs, which that's nice because if you're not at your computer, computer, you can actually adjust the uh, output uh, value from these to your field device. Um, this is uh, addressable right here on the side and you can also um, have it automatically detect the baud rate or if you want to manually detect the baud rate you can do that. But one thing that makes this even more interesting is Neptronic has two thermostats and these are actually Modbus thermostats and depending on uh, the number of outputs you need makes a difference in whether you buy one thermostat over the other. But uh, when I first saw this, I thought, how can a Modbus thermostat work with something that's BACnet MSTP? Well, what they've done is they've actually included a Modbus port on here that you can wire up to two of these devices uh, in series on this Modbus connection, and it allows you to read those points over BACnet MSTP that pre-map the points in the controller for you so that as long as you have everything wired properly and you have your, your uh, thermostat up and running, you can read those over BACnet MSTP. A lot of times when you needed those extra points, it was going to cost you $1,400, $1,500 for one of your own proprietary controllers where this can be purchased for a pr fraction of the cost and allow you to pretty much do exactly what you need to do without the expense of a big controller. And for some of our customers, they have a gateway module that they have to provide on every project that allows their front end to communicate with the field devices and they typically have a BACnet MSTP port available uh, on that controller. So if for some reason you had a very small project that uh, maybe it wasn't going to be cost effective for you to provide your own controller on, you could buy this uh, at a much more reasonable cost and attach your BACnet MSTP port uh, to this and have the I.O. that you need and just put your programming out in your main gateway module. Neptronic offers two versions of the CMMB. The one that I showed you today is the 10 input, 10 output version. Uh, there's also a smaller version that is two universal inputs and two digital outputs. Uh, that one does not have the um, remote Modbus port on it. So if you just have a, a couple of points that you need, they do have a, a, a device that's even more cost effective than what this one is. We get to see a lot of devices here at alpscontrols.com and this was one of the ones that uh, when it came across my desk, I thought this is something we really need to let our customers know about because had I had something like this years ago when I was in the field, uh, definitely would have uh, made my job a lot easier and made the, the projects more cost effective. To find the CMMB on our website, click on the Manufacturers button, scroll down to Neptronic. On the following page, click on the IO Expanders subcategory link.